Getting a good look at Erie County's budget plan for the first or for this coming year. Despite the financial pressures brought on by COVID-19, the spending plan avoids drastic cuts to county services or any real dramatic rise in taxes. Channel 2's Dave McKinley explains how they were able to do this. Well, the county executive and his budget team basically did this through a combination of more property taxes, some job cuts, and by tapping into the county's reserve fund. As he stood before reporters to unveil his $1.4 billion budget, polling cars through a PowerPoint noted it calls for a slight reduction in the property tax rate to its lowest in 15 years. But at the same time, we are seeing assessment growth. Our levy is growing which means the county will actually collect seven and a half million dollars more in property taxes than it did this year. There are 19 layoffs almost exclusively at the sheriff's office centered on corrections and tied to bail reform measures that have emptied much of the downtown holding center. There's less people that are being admitted, so there's less need for staff. Poland cars also used $10 million in reserve funds to help balance the books. Meanwhile, earlier concerns about a huge hit to the county's largest revenue source, sales tax, have been somewhat eased. Due to the governor's COVID-19 shutdowns earlier in the year, sales tax was by midsummer projected to be down around 9%. But thanks to the recalculation of how much the state owed the county and the now rebounding economy, the picture brightened. We are seeing a reduction of sales tax of 2.3% compared to 2019. Meaning the earlier estimated loss of $36 million is now projected to be a more manageable $11 million instead. It's not as good as we would have liked, but it's still better than what we were facing. There are also spending cuts to some capital projects that will have to be put on hold. They include a number of road repairs and a project the county executive has championed since he announced it in 2019. ErieNet, a $20 million, 360 mile fiber network aimed to bring high speed broadband to underserved parts of the county. But we're not going to be able to do that because we just don't have the money to do that. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.